Hey everybody, it's John Twalbus from policyviz.com. A few weeks ago, I posted a little tutorial on how to build a better bracket than what you might find in the default PowerPoint menu. Uh, this bugs me because it's got that little rounded edge there, really didn't like it. I put out a little tutorial, then Jeff Schaefer put out a couple tutorials, Kevin Flairledge put out a tutorial, so I just wanted to pull all four of those together into one little video to show you the various ways, and I'm gonna round it out the end with the way I liked best, which is what Jeff created, so we're gonna get there in a second. Let me show you the various ways to do this. Again, I don't like that rounded little piece there, so there's probably a better way. So the way I did it was to create a really, really tiny bar um, just have it, you know, filled, um, make that rectangle really thin, you know, that's, you know, whatever, 0.01, just make these, make these sort of nice and round and I'll, uh, I'll just rotate this and, you know, let's make this, I don't know, two inches, 1.5, just click, 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 uh, make that 1.5, duplicate that, let's line these up, I'll put it to the left up here using my quick access toolbar, I'll select this one, put this one at the top, boom it over there, and now I've got a nice little um, a bracket. Okay, that's one way to do it. All right, let's check out the way Kevin Flirtledge did it. I thought Kevin did a nice little uh, trick here. He went in for this uh, square, this frame, and so he grabbed that, I'll make that a square. You can do that by holding down the shift key. And then if I grab this little yellow doohangy here, that's a technical name, is doohangy, I can change the width there. And then what I can do is just insert a regular rectangle on top of it, sort of line it up how, how long I want these edges here, select the frame, select the square, go to merge shapes and do subtract. And now I've got a little bracket and that's quite nice. Um, kind of doesn't you know work great when you do it that way, but if you set it up the way you wanted originally, that would work pretty well. Okay, that's two ways to do it. Now, uh, Jeff Schaefer uh, came up with another way to do it, which is let's take a box, take a square, take a rectangle. Now let's go back up to edit shape and grab the edit points button and we can go down here. And if you let right click here, you can say open the path and that's just gonna break this little path here. And if you select it again by right clicking, you say delete the point. And now we can just color this. I'll make it black and make the fill no fill. And now I've got a nice little bracket and I can do that and I can change the weight here of that line and I've got a nice bracket. And this one scales a lot nicer. I mean, this is a, this is a nice, nice way to scale it. But then Jeff did an even better version, which is you go to the insert menu, go to shapes, go down to that little bracket that you like, grab it, you can do whatever, however you want it like this. And I'm gonna make it thicker so you can see it, right? So I'm gonna make this weight four and a half, just really big. And you can see here, again, I don't like that curve, but what I didn't know and that I learned from Jeff's video is that if you select this and take this little yellow doohangy, again, technical term doohangy, and move it down, you can curl it that way or move it up and you can make it right angled right at the end. And then you can bring this down like this. And then this guy very nicely scales to whatever dimension you want. You want a little bracket like that. You wanna thin it out. You can go back into your weight, make it thinner, however you wanna do it. Now you've got a nice little bracket. So four ways to do it. I think the best way, the easiest way, the most replicable way is to just put in that little uh, built in uh, shape from PowerPoint and then just grab that yellow box and just pull it all the way up and you've got a right angle little bracket. So this is John from policyviz.com. Subscribe to this channel to learn more about PowerPoint, Excel, and all other things that you need to do a better job communicating your data.